social media has become a gateway for shopping and the ads suck you in. Sometimes you might end up with something that doesn't look like what you ordered. Mallory Safaste has more as we count down the 12 scams of Christmas. The disappointment with what you receive is one thing, but often consumers report having issues obtaining refunds or are concerned with how the company is now using their personal and payment information. There are the usual suspects, designer handbags at steep discounts. The customer purchased this, but received this. A more unusual example, a shopper bought a wooden National Parks emblem, thinking a portion of their purchase would be donated. This piece of paper glued to styrofoam from China came instead. And sometimes it's just laughable. Yo! This is the rainbow Christmas tree! <laughs> 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 this is our Christmas tree! I own it off the internet! <laughs> Queen Shadonna Hainsworth thought she bought this, the Instagram ad displaying a tree that fits in a living room, not the palm of her hand. Like, seriously? Like, who, who is responsible for this? The company's page is in English, but its contact page is a different language. Look and make sure there's a privacy policy, there's contact information. You can reach them and look and see what kind of words they use. Angie Barnett with the Better Business Bureau said shoppers should check for spelling errors, unusual grammar. If they try to convince you the product is real or advertise unusually low prices. Most often people fall for these social media sites because of pricing and photos. Don't trust either. Do your research. But it can be more difficult when it's an everyday item at a typical price, like this consumer who bought two outdoor lawn chairs. Except she said the photo wasn't to scale, writing, what was sent to me isn't anything close to being a chair unless you're a hamster. Barnett also recommends taking screenshots of the product details and how it's advertised. I want to look at dimensions, um, fabric, very specific details. So if what I receive does not meet up to that, that, then I can dispute and most credit card companies will take it back. A credit card will give you the best protection when shopping online. PayPal also offers purchase protection. However, in some cases, you'll need to send the item back and shipping, particularly to a different country country will cost you way more than what you paid for the item. With your 12 scams of Christmas, I'm Mallory Safaste.